Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x plus 6 to the power x equals 2 to the power x. And we're going to solve for x values. I'm also going to show you a graph at the end, which kind of explains what we did. So in this equation, obviously, testing some you know values is OK. You can use trial and error. And most of the time, with equations like this, for example, uh, if we had something like 4 to the x plus 6 to the x equals 9 to the x, notice that 4 times 9 is equal to 36, which is 6 squared, which uh, kind of turns into some type of golden ratio. So what we usually do with these kinds of equations is divide everything by 9 to the power x, which happens to be the largest uh, base, and that gives us 4 over 9 to the x plus 6 over 9, which is 2 thirds, and then equals 1. And notice that we have two decreasing functions on the left-hand side. It's equal to 1, it's a horizontal line, so on and so forth, right? So that's how we proceed usually. With this equation, though, if you divide everything by the largest base, which is 6, you get the following. 3 over 6 to the power x plus 6 over 6, which is going to be 1, and this is going to give you 2 over 6, to the power x. If you simplify this, you're going to get one half to the power x and one third to the power x. So one thing that's pro a little problematic here is that both of these are decreasing functions. So what happens if a decreasing function equals another decreasing function? Do they always intersect at a single point? Not necessarily. If you had an increasing function and a decreasing function, they would intersect at a single point. But it's not that clear here. So instead, we're going to use something else. And that is dividing everything by 2 to the power x to get a 1 on the right-hand side instead of getting a 1 from the largest base. So let's go ahead and divide 3 to the x by 2 to the x. And let's just do it. And we're going to get 1. And now here we can write this as 3 halves to the x. And this one as 3 to the power x equals 1. And yes, this is where the mathematics happens. And we now have as constant on the right hand side which is nice and on the left hand side we have two increasing functions so three halves is greater than one when you have a b to the power x and when is b is greater than one this is going to be an increasing function you can also look at the derivative you know ln is going to be involved so on and so forth because ln one is zero ln b is going to be greater than uh, zero right if b is greater than one anyways so we have an increasing function and another increasing function. Now, what is the sum of two increasing functions? Is it increasing or decreasing or undetermined? Well, if you look at the derivatives, it's going to be increasing. So we have an increasing function equals a constant, which means we have something like this. And obviously, this is going to be curvy, right? And then that equals horizontal line. And of course, they are supposed to intersect at a single point. But the question is, how do you find that point? Right? Great. So in order to be able to understand what the x value is going to be like, I want to go back to the original problem because that kind of gives us a better idea. And let me tell you how I kind of thought about this problem because I, I don't think I've seen this problem anywhere else. So in that sen sense, we can call it homemade. But anyways, this is what I thought about. You probably know that 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 is equal to 1 half, right? And then if you just flip both of these all of these numbers, you get the following equation. In other words, x equals negative 1 satisfies this equation. Because negative 1, what negative 1 does is just take the reciprocal. So 3 and 6 are two such numbers that th their sum does not equal a power of 2, but their reciprocals satisfy that relationship. Does that make sense? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and hopefully that'll um, make it a little more clear. So. I have the graph of 3 halves to the x plus 3 to the x. As you can see, it's an increasing graph. As x approaches negative infinity, y approaches 0. As x approaches positive infinity, y approaches infinity. It's an increasing function, y equals 1. And they intersect at negative 1, comma 1, which means x equals negative 1 is the only solution. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.